It's day 8 of our 40 days of prayer to kick off 2021. Reading from Ezra 8 and Acts chapter 8, if you're following along with the two-year Bible reading plan, it brings us a combination of stories where God's people are in trouble. Ezra is preparing to go back to Jerusalem for the services at the temple, and they're taking a lot of stuff with them, including a lot of valuable goods, so he's worried that they're going to encounter trouble along the way. He doesn't want to ask the pagan king for help, so he just prays and asks people to pray, and God delivers them. In Acts chapter 8, it's the persecution that's broken out. In Acts chapter 6 and 7, the story of Stephen, he preaches a sermon, the Jewish leaders get angry with him, and they stone him. So at the beginning of Acts chapter 8, there's Saul approving of his execution. In verse 3, it says, Saul was ravaging the church, entering house after house. He dragged off men and women and committed them to prison. We hear stories like this today still from China, from other countries around the world where Christians are extracted from their underground churches, even from their homes, interrogated, sent to prison camps, or never heard from again. Even in our own country where it feels like our Christian values are being shaken and attacked, the ground under us doesn't feel as firm as it used to. Well, where do we go for help? Sometimes we want to blame God for the predicament that we're in, so we try to find the solutions within ourselves. Maybe it's just our pride that thinks that we can just kind of make our way through, or our politics, or our own strength will help us. But if we understand that it is because of man's sinfulness and our brokenness that we're in the predicament that we find ourselves in, then uh, we need to know that it's through the gospel of Jesus Christ that we find the help that we need. As we pray to rebuild our relationship with Him, then would you pray that God would truly help us to trust in the name of Jesus Christ and in the gospel that He's given to us to find the help for the trouble that we're facing. No matter what it is that you're facing, it can be, it can be something very personal right now, relational, family, health, anything that we're dealing with. Jesus Christ is the one that we need to turn to for help. Don't forget to pray, other people, pray for two other people as well. And I will see you tomorrow.